So there's a Roblox player that if he follows your Roblox account, you will actually end up getting terminated. I know that sounds like one of those TikToks that begins with Roblox players, stop scrolling, but I'm actually not joking. You see, I originally found out about this guy through this YouTuber named Schlepp here. Shout out to him. And uh, I'll, I'll give him a follow back. He uh, he tweeted out yesterday about this account called account termination at user term view. And what happens is everybody he follows ends up getting terminated. It actually says in his about section here, followed by account termination equals NQ and or terminated. No escape, man. This guy's brutal. And if we go on Roblox, and look him up here user term to you search him up in people there he is right here it's a real account says he is cleaning up robloxia and if we scroll down we can actually see this is a new user he joined on 2 16 2024 literally like a week and a half ago and we can see here that he's following 127 roblox users now i would show you guys the following list but like i said everyone he follows he gets terminated off of Roblox and the reason why is because everyone he follows and I'm looking at them right now I can't show you guys because everyone he follows well they're breaking the terms of service in ways that I can't show you on video because if I did this video would probably get taken down off of YouTube I'll just show you this section right here of his following list you can see okay we're not gonna scroll up um and okay we're not gonna scroll down but you can see that they're all terminated they're all banned let me see if i can quickly find a, an example that i can show on video without getting in trouble here we go right here leah this is a roblox account that he's following she is a target now she hasn't gotten banned yet but if we go to her about section here um it says donate to me for fun money and then and un and and, and yeah we're, we're um i mean i i think it's pretty clear what um <laughs> it's pretty clear what she's talking about i probably oh my god i probably don't have to spell it out and so what this account termination guy does is he's kind of like the batman of roblox he goes around and he finds roblox accounts that are breaking the tos that are doing inappropriate things things that you should not be doing on roblox and then he follows them and soon after they get banned but the question is how do they get banned? This guy following them. How, how does it magically happen? Is this guy like a wizard? Is he actually Batman? Like, like how, what, what's going on? Well, you see, I think it actually has to do with this right here. This is a recent Roblox update, and I won't read the whole Twitter thread because it's kind of lengthy, but basically here's what you need to know. In the EU, that's Europe, by the way, there is a new law called the Digital Services Act. And this tweet says, in response to the Digital Services Act, Roblox has just implemented significant changes. The Digital Service Act regulates online service providers in the EU, such as Roblox, to establish new rules to combat harmful content. Or in other words, if you're an EU player, if you live in the EU and you play Roblox, Roblox now legally has to tell you why you got banned. They can't just say, hey, you got banned for 24 hours, come back tomorrow. They have to legally tell you how why and who banned you for example we used automation when making this decision that's actually a pretty good update fantastic but then if we scroll down there's actually more to this and that is this right here it's called the illegal content report form and this is a new form that roblox players have access to and it says the digital service act is an eu law that requires online platforms like roblox to implement tools that allow reporting of content that may be illegal and so you essentially fill out this form I'm not going to show the form. It's got some words in here that YouTube may not like. But essentially, you fill out this form. It gets forwarded to the right agencies. And then Roblox pretty much has to take action. They are legally obligated to take action. And that's why this account here says cleaning up Robloxy. Because he's using this new feature to delete bad people off the platform. Apparently, he also now made a group, the Terming Gods. This is this is incredible. There is currently an ongoing problem with inappropriate games on Roblox. We are trying to ban people who are making inappropriate alts to try and do bad things. We value 
the safety of players on Roblox. And it looks like now there's actually a bunch of people doing this. I'm working with the TOS moderation to clean up Roblox bad guys. I'm not going to say that word because I'm not sure if YouTube likes that word. This is actually incredible. Like, this is amazing. It looks like he also has a uh, Twitter account here, user termed you, where he's just tweeting about his, uh, his progress in the mission. Now, this isn't actually the only good news that has to do with bad people on Roblox. I talked about this in a video about a month ago, but um, this is a tweet from last week. It says, today Roblox's new TOS went into effect. Games can now be taken down if developers fail to prevent users who actively violate the rules and more. About a week ago, you guys probably got a pop-up like this whenever you went onto Roblox. You had to click agree in order to play the game. Basically meaning that there are games out there on Roblox that aren't necessarily breaking the rules themselves, but a lot of the people who play them are. For example, our favorite Roblox game of all time, Meave City. This game isn't actually breaking the Roblox TOS. Nothing it does in the game by the game is, you know, illegal or anything. But as we know, if you go on Meep City, like 80% of it is just people using it to online date. And for the record, when I say online date, I'm not talking about, oh, let's hold hands. I'm talking about things that should definitely not be happening on the platform. Now, obviously this brings up an even bigger issue. Roblox moderation has a lot of problems right now, especially with UGC items that, um, you know, popped white gum. Yeah, sure, of course. Um, recommended items, mouth drool. Like, yeah, 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 th this is the thing. And I'm not really sure how Roblox deals with that. Clearly it's a problem. I'm not smart enough to tell them how to solve the problem, but it is nice to know that they are taking steps to help solve it through the use of taking down games that allow users to violate the rules and through the use of Roblox Batman. So shout out to Roblox Batman and everyone else that's cleaning up Roblox. What a great update.